Hi friends, this is Amit Ranjan uh, once again with you on our video session with a new topic uh, which is very important for all Java beginners. It is frequently asked in Java interview about hash code. So here I came to discuss about hash code, hash code method and little introduction about hashing technique. I hope you will enjoy this video and if you have any question or suggestion please do comment in the comment section and I request you all that if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe uh, with the red button uh, given below and press the notification bell so that you can be in touch with me whenever I upload uh, new videos on such topics so let us go So let us uh, see about hash code. Uh, so actually a hash code is just an integer value uh, for each object. So let us see it by a code. Create a program using notepad and the file name is abc.java. Let us create a class named person. Just for an example, I am adding a person name as a string name as a data member and a class name to add a, a class name to add a main matter. So just create an object of class person. Uh, if we want we can call has code method to display the has code of this newly created object so call system.out.println and p1 dot has code add a comment here has code of p1 so let us compile it Here we can see that a uh, number is displayed for hash code, it is an integer number. So in this way if I will create one more object and try to display hash code of this one also, let us save it and compile. Successfully compiled, so let us execute this program with the help of main class. I'm sorry, I guess I have not saved my Java program. So let us save it, compile, and execute. So we can see here that there are two objects, and each one object has its unique uh, hash code value. Actually, the classes we create in Java are directly or indirectly uh, the subclass of the super cosmic class java.lang.object. And there is a hash code method defined inside the uh, object class that generate unique hash code for each object. So it looks that hash code is a unique number for each object but is it correct actually uh, from the documentation of oracle.com I uh, have copied this statement that the hash code method defined by class object does return distinct integers for distinct object as much as is reasonably practical that means hash code may be same for more than one object but programmers should aware of hash code if overriding by themselves the hash code helps to manage object in hash based data structure i will further discuss about hashing technique where you will understand that how hash code is helpful to manage objects in our custom class 
we can override hash per method according to our needs. However, for example, a string class has already overridden this hash code method and I will discuss about it in the next video session. So what are the contract of hash code? So the number one is whenever hash code method is executed uh, in single execution of application, the hash code must return the same integer. That means if I will call more than once hash code, it should return the same integer value each time on single execution. For example, I have copied the same same statement for t1 three times and for t2 three times to show you that each time the hash code is same for t1 object and t2 object in a single execution but it is not necessary that if you will try to execute the same program once again it will have the same hash code but the hash code whatever it has will be unique in a single execution time so it is not necessary to be same on each, each execution of the application the second contract is if two objects are compared using equals method and found true that means if two objects are equal according to the equals method the hash code method should return the same integer value for both the objects. So let us see it by an example. Suppose I create a string object string abc is equal to hello string ef is equal to hello compare between two objects will be returned as true or false. Let us see what happened and the hash code for both the objects. Let us see, both ABC and DEF are holding the same object, so I guess it will return true. And if it returns true, then both the object must have same hash code. So let us see. You can see it returns true, and both are having the same hash code. Both the object ABC and DEF have same hash code. However, it is not necessary that two objects with same hash code must return true on compare using equals method. That means if if two objects have same hash code, it is not necessary that both are equal. For this, I have to override the hash code method to show this. Suppose we add a constructor here to initialize the name and override hash code method to one for all the object of person that means any number of object i will create the hash code for every object of person will be one for example so on displaying hash code you will see one for both the both the object However, we know that both the objects are not same. For example, if we will compare both the object with the equals method, it will return false because both the objects are separate in heap. So let us uh, see the output. Now you can see the hash code for both the objects are same however the equality returns false so it is not necessary that two objects with same hash code must return true on compare using quotes method i have shown you that uh, there is two objects with same hash code but the equality returns false because actually both the objects are not equal but 
this is for programmer that distinct integer as hash code for unequal object will improve the performance of hash tables now uh, a few words for hashing technique so actually hashing technique is just for speedy search of an object if your objects are kept in a hash based data structure hashing technique helps to search an object very uh, nicely very easily the comparison becomes lesser in hashing technique okay so see in case of hash based collection hash code represents the bucket number where the objects are stored and if you find a bucket where the objects are stored then you have to search only those item which is in that particular bucket so if you have find the right bucket you can use equals method to search the required object from the bucket so this is just for an illustration that i have kept four bucket with bucket number 19 33 40 and 42 and some name i have generated hash code on the basis of the character position of the name let us see it the first one example is alex the position of a is 1 l is 12 e is 5 and x is 24 so overall the sum of alphabet position is 42 so alex goes to the bucket number 42 bob 19 goes to the bucket number 19 dog is also having the same hash code 42 so it will also go to the bucket number 42 and the fred it has f uh, the alphabet position 6 r 18 e 5 d 4 overall the sum is 33 so fred goes to the bucket number 33 if i will try to search for a, a object like bob i have to search the bucket number if i found it 19 then i can go to the bucket number 19 and since there is no object i do not need to compare using equals method i can find bob easily if i have to find the object alex or dog i will find the bucket number 42 go to 42 and then there is only one more object so the equals method will compare only once and it will find the right object alex or dog so obviously using hashing technique searching an item becomes more faster this is uh, end of this video session but in next session i will talk about possibly in string handling so please subscribe my channel and be with me if you have any suggestion or any question please comment in the comment box below i promise you that i will be available there i will support you to learn java programming and please comment please do comment and share to your friends who are beginners who are newly joined uh, it field thank you